Hello, I am Ukdev Prachojuri. Today I would like to share my experiences which may help you when you visit Ajanta Cave. I have found two ways to visit this ancient cave. On the first way, normally tourists go to the lower parking area, then book tickets and take buses to enter into the cave area. Yes, you have to take government buses because tourist vehicles are not permitted to enter into the cave area to reduce the pollution. This is really a good approach to safeguard this wonderful creation. The other way which I preferred most is to go to the higher viewpoint and tell your driver to go to the lower parking area and ask him to wait there. From this upper viewpoint, you can see the entire perspective of the cave. You will wonder to see how the caves have been created on the U-shaped hard basalt walls of a reverse gorge. You will be amazed to see the beautiful surroundings. It looks like a book cover to me and made me very curious to enter into it. Here I must say something about Ajanta. It is situated on the Deccan Plateau in the Aurangabad district of Maharashtra, India. The caves are very old, created in between 2nd century BC and 7th century CE. The caves include expressive paintings and rock cut sculptures. You will be astonished when you see how the dead solid rock walls of a river gorge have been transformed into the amazing sculptures. And it is created during that ancient age without the help of any modern instrument. These caves are described as one of the finest surviving examples of ancient Indian art and culture. They are also universally regarded as the masterpieces of the Buddhist religious art. This site is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and maintained by Archaeological Survey of India. Once you have enjoyed the beauty from the upper viewpoint, take the stairs at the right side and start descending. The route is well defined and sometimes through the shade of the trees. Soon you will reach on a small flat surface, triangular in shape with full of uneven brown stones. On the left side, if you stand by the side of the railing, you will see a small waterfall. In the rainy season, the waterfall could be massive and the entire area will be covered by ice-wooding large green forest. But keep it in mind that the rainy and summer months could be very hot and humid, so plan accordingly. Keep walking by the side of the railing. At the end of the flat area, you will reach at the middle viewpoint. Take a rest here and enjoy the view. 
all the caves will appear much closer than before when you stand by the edge of the middle view point at the extreme left there is cave number 26 and in extreme right there is cave number 1 and the exit path start descending from here and reach on the river bed after crossing the small bridge you will reach below the cave number 8 get the entry tickets from the ticket counter below the cave number 8 and then enter into the cave premises now visit the caves on your left side that is from 9 to 26 then come back and visit cave number 8 to 1 and leave the cave premises if you feel tiredness take some rest inside an unused cave or in the shade of the cave you will find a few of these types of caves have some drinks and food the cave area is very neat and clean so please do not litter you will be fine Enjoy the ancient Indian art. You will find it everywhere inside a cave. As you move from one cave to another, your heart will fill with joy. You will find beautiful paintings on the cave's walls and ceilings. There are uncountable rock cut sculptures inside and outside of the cave. There are some unfinished caves as well. They will tell you how they are architect and formed. Please do not use flashlight of either your mobile phone or camera. They are harmful for this art to survive. Though there are lights inside the caves, but if you need more light, please use torch. Now we are moving out of the cave premises. These stairs will lead you to the refreshment rooms and the restaurants. Take your lunch here, then get the bus tickets and board it. The bus will take you to the parking place where your driver is waiting. There are plenty of gift shops just before the parking area. Take some gifts for your dear ones. Then get in the car with some non fadable wonderful memories. If you take this second approach, I am pretty sure you will be able to avoid much of the crowd and you will be able to view the caves with its perspective. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.